Um, I'm going to be reading The Outsiders by S. E. Hinton. This book has been banned because of its presence of gangs, violence, and profanity. It was Randy and Bob and the three other socias, and they recognized us. I knew Johnny recognized them. He was watching the moonlit glit off Bob's ring with huge eyes. Hey, what do you know? Bob said a little unsteadily. Here's the little greasers that picked up our girls. Hey, greasers. You're out of your territory, Johnny warned in a low voice. You'd better watch it. Randy swore at us, and they stepped in closer. Bob was eyeing Johnny. Nope, pal, you're the one who'd better watch it. Next time you want a broad, pick up your own, dirt. I was getting mad. I was hating them enough to lose my head. You know what a greaser is, Bob asked? White trash with long hair. I felt the blood draining from my face. I've been cussed out and sworn at, but nothing ever hit me like that did. Johnny Cake made a kind of gasp and his eyes were smoldering. You know what a soch is? I said, my voice shaking with rage. White trash with mustangs and madras. And then, because I couldn't think of anything bad enough to call them, I spit at them. Bob shook his head, smiling slowly. You could use a bath greaser and a good working over it, and we've got all night to do it. Give the kid a bath, David. I ducked and tried to run for it, but the soch caught my arm and twisted it behind my back and shoved my face into the fountain. I fought, but the hand at the back of my neck was strong, and I had to hold my breath. I'm dying, I thought, and I wondered what was happening to Johnny. I couldn't hold my breath any longer and fought again desperately, but only sucked in water. I'm drowning, I thought. They've gone too far, and a red haze filled my mind, and I slowly relaxed. The next thing I knew, I was lying on the pavement beside the fountain, coughing up water and gasping. I lay there weakly, breathing in the air and spitting out water. The wind blasted through my soaked sweat shirt and dripping hair. My teeth clattered incessantly, and I couldn't stop them. I finally pushed myself up and leaned back against the fountain, the water running down my face. Then I saw Johnny. He was sitting next to me, one elbow on his knee, and staring straight ahead. He was a strange greenish white, and his eyes were huger than I'd ever seen them. I killed him, he said slowly. I killed that boy.